I've reviewed many power stations on my channel, and the most popular comment that I always get is, of course, that they are too expensive. So fortunately, the one I'm going to show you today, called the Anchor Solix F3800 Power Station, is now currently the least expensive power station you can buy that has both 120 volt and 240 volt power built in. This is a modular system, so you can just start with a single unit, but here is their brand new accessory. This is their home power panel, and this allows you to connect one of these F3800s directly to your home's electrical system, and it works with just a single unit or as many as two of these F3800s. If you want to see my full review of this F3800, I'll link it in the upper right hand corner, but this is the best and most important part. You've got six AC outlets rated for 120 volt for normal things that you'd plug in, but then of course you've got two 240 volt capable outlets. You can run your entire house or power something like a welder or even a well to pump water when the power is out. But underneath this panel is a proprietary port. This connects to the Anchor Home Power Panel. Now fortunately, you can use this power panel with just a single F3800. Some of the products out there require two units. Most people are going to want to get this thing installed by a licensed electrician. There are a number of connections and there's things that might be different on your install that are going to really require a pro to do it. But once the electrical portion is done, all you've got to do is use the included cables and it plugs right into the back of the F3800 and then the other end goes into the power panel. So if we remove the panel, you're going to see two sets of connectors, one labeled grid and the other labeled backup. The grid connection will tie into a breaker on your existing panel. This is going to allow the unit to automatically charge and sense when the power has been cut off. That makes this a true automatic transfer switch. The backup connections will get wired directly to an additional type of sub-panel. There you can connect a number of circuits that can be powered automatically during an outage. And unlike some of the older panels that I showed years ago on my channel that could only do 120 volt, you're able to select both 240 volt circuits and 120 volt. Now the system has a lithium iron phosphate long life battery inside, but of course most people will want extended run times. Now you can add up to six batteries per F3800. You can get 24 kilowatt hours per stack. Now fortunately the only painful part about getting these extra batteries is of course buying them. Installing them just takes a few seconds. You can stack up to two of them on top of the F3800, but after this if you want more, it's really recommended that you put them on the floor. Once connected, you don't have to manage anything. The charging, discharging is all handled automatically. Additionally, you can utilize the app to run the entire stack. You can monitor stats, do firmware updates. It is a very advanced app. It gives you pretty much total control of the unit, including timeouts of things like the screen, or even automatically putting it to sleep if there's no load. The other cool part about having that 240 volt plug built in is that you don't have to actually buy that power panel. If you want to utilize an existing generator hookup, you can. In a recent video, I showed you how I installed this generator inlet inside my shop. Now this is tied into the main breaker of my panel. Anchor's 240 volt outlet is just a standard L1430. That means that generator cable here cost about 10 bucks and it's rated for 30 amps. Now to activate it, all I've got to do is turn my main breaker off, slide the interlock plate up, and now I can put the interlock breaker on. This is a traditional type of generator connection that many of you may already have. Now we'll turn our AC inverter on. And now our building is powered up. A lot of people ask me how long you can run certain appliances for. Now the answer to that depends on what appliance it is and how much power it draws. Here we've got an 18,000 watt heat pump that is also an air conditioner, and this can draw around 3,000 watts at maximum run speeds. I've also got this pellet stove that I just turned on that can use around 700 watts while it's igniting the pellets initially. After that, it's only about 100 watts. I've got this garage door opener that doesn't draw a lot of power, but these can have a big startup load, and this is all happening while I'm running the other appliances. And despite all these ceiling lights being LED, I've got a ton of them, and it draws about 700 watts with all of them on. So at the moment, all of that stuff is running off this single unit with two expansion batteries. I'm drawing around 2800 watts, and if you notice there, it says it can only run for about two and a half hours. But if you're using more modern equipment, you'll notice that, that runtime will be extended, of course, as things like heat pumps begin to heat the space, and their draw becomes less. Even with all of that stuff running, it was putting out almost 120 volts, which is perfect, along with 60 hertz of frequency, and pure sine power, meaning you're getting clean electricity. 
Now I am a big fan of this unit for one main reason, the price. They are currently selling this one for just $29.99, but in the battery world for a device that gives you 240 volt power with modular expandability, that is a surprisingly low price. But there is one feature this system doesn't have that I wish they would add. Now if you're outputting 120 volt power on battery, you can also charge it at 120 volt as well, kind of using the entire system as a UPS. But unfortunately, if you're outputting 240 volt power, that means you're using both of the inverters inside this device. And unfortunately, that means there's no way to invert an additional 120 volt input into it. So all that means is that you can't charge it with 120 volt power while you're outputting 240 volt. If you're using solar power, that isn't an issue at all. You can charge it via DC. That is something to consider if you wanted to output 240 volt and trickle charge it kind of with a 120 volt input. But for a lot of people, this device is truly a game changer. To get a single box that can output 120 volt and 240 volt, especially for this price. And if you'd like to learn more about this device, the home power panel, or any of their accessories, you can check out the link that I've put in the pinned comment and the description as well. And if there's something else you'd like to see, be sure to leave me a comment below and I'll try to include it in a future video. And if you found this useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel on YouTube for more videos coming up.